said you were running seven O's right now? Seven O, yeah. Okay. Second thing, what is going on with the truck? Because I've heard some stories, you're driving across the country, something like that. Yep. In November, I sold everything that I own, uh, my house, my dog, my girlfriend, sold it all. <laughs> and I bought this trailer, and I bought my truck, and I started this build out of Hermiston, Oregon. So I decided that I'm gonna go on a nine month uh, road trip or drag race every weekend. Obviously COVID happened right. and the first two months were delayed. Then I spent a little bit more time on my penmanship of the truck and you know made it a masterpiece. And I've been out for about five weeks now and I've raced every single weekend. I haven't had one down weekend yet. Blown a head gasket the first weekend, got that fixed. Blew a couple, you know, intercooler boots and stuff like that. But other than that, this is our fifth stop. Fourth or fifth stop. Gotcha. So. What made you want to sell everything just to go racing for like a year? Because that's a dream a lot of people have, but they would yeah. never, never do that. I want to spread the awareness that if you want to go out and do something, you can do it. You just got to work hard at it, you know? And, and I'll tell you, uh, it's a lot of hard work. Oh, I don't doubt that. You know, it's it's a dream, as many, but it's also a lot of hard work. I work on this truck at least 30 hours a week between my travel time also. Gee. <laughs> what is, okay, what year is the truck? What's the setup under the hood? What are we looking at? All that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, we got a 1995 uh, Dodge. It's originally a long bed, a single cab, two wheel drive. Okay. We shortened the frame and kept the, it as a stock. Dana 70 underneath. The power plant is a uh, 5912 valve Cummins, mecha all mechanical. It has a compound setup from force induction uh, turbos. Uh, it has an 88 over a 68, and uh, obviously big injectors, big fuel pumps. So what kind of power are we looking at out of the truck right now? Out of this, uh, reliably, we're at about a thousand. Uh, if I put some spray to it, we're at about 1,300. Gotcha. What kind of foot pounds are you looking at? Uh, you're looking at about 2,100 foot pounds of torque. Jesus. All right. Yeah. Well, good luck today. Thanks. Hopefully, we see you in one of the top 32. Uh, I hope so. All right, man. Good so, luck. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Into. Really appreciate it.
huh? You freaking sent it, man. I hope so. There's a lot of oil out there. <laughs> that was a freaking rowdy burr out there. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Well, I didn't pop the tires. You weren't there yet, but <laughs> I think it had to... Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Fred. What is it? A valve cover gasket? There was a lot of oil. It's a valve cover gasket, Fred. There's not a rod coming out the block here. Really? No, it's a valve cover gasket. There was a lot of oil. You might want to top off the oil, too. We'll put some oil back in it. Okay. The block's dry. It's a valve cover gasket. Easy fix. I'll go get a 15 and we'll be back out. Let me go see, let me go see what they say. Okay. Yeah, well, they said send it. Fix that shit. Send it. Might be a little bit more than Oh, uh, what'd you cover. find now? Well, I just started up and it was clunking. Okay. A little bit more than the diesel clunks. Okay. Okay. So. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for bringing the truck. Absolutely. We, we're more than honored to have you here yeah. to be part of your, your journey across the country. Thank you. Thank you, and good luck with the rest Dude, of the band. I appreciate the, the footage, and I appreciate the exposure, and anything like anything I can tell my followers is, you know, follow your dreams, and it'll pay off. Seriously, shout out to this guy. Uh, he's raised, He sold everything he owns to race his truck across the country for a year. So all of us have wanted to do this. He's living a dream right now. Hope you guys like this video, like this story. See you in the next one.